So you might be wondering exactly what I'm standing in right now. Well, I'm standing in a Fiat 600, could be an Isetta, could be a BMW. They're all kind of the same back in the day. And uh, I was looking at it and I started trying to decide, let's get rid of this and get rid of this. And I've got a cool idea to put that Hossfly bar stool go-kart thing inside here, but then still use the original driving components of our 600 that we are standing in so right now we had to get rid of a couple of things and then we're going to just basically put some brace bars across here uh in three locations axle mic you're supposed to and then cut the whole daggum floor and motor and everything and just drop it out of there and then put it on top of that Part of the funny part about this is that uh, I actually think I paid $6,000 for the actual bones of this car, the car itself. What? And yes. Well, a Hossfly costs about $20,000. So now we, we're already $26,000 deep. Can't stop now. <laughs> Here's some stuff. It's just falling apart as I go. Well, that's the heater hose, man. I remember having those in my Volkswagen when I was like 20, and it comes out right next to your feet. And, and it gets so hot that it would literally like would catch your feet on fire and stuff. You can leave that for now. What we need to do is get all this shit out of here. So we can see what we're working with. <laughs> yep. It's a whole lot of nothing. Hey, save that power cord. It looks like it's still good. Quality interior pieces. Yep, that's a good door panel. Well, I was trying to save that part, Josh. That's pretty expensive. I'm going to save that one for you. Okay. <coughs> Talking about yourself or the car? A bit of both. It's the end of the day. <coughs> I wonder if this is asbestos. Because I'm getting it out as best as I can. Uh, <coughs> I think now what we should do, Sorry. if I was a betting guy, we need to go ahead and brace it up real fast and then we just start cutting floor sections and and work around the frame or we can i don't know we can turn it upside down and do it that way we could literally hang it from the forklift and do it that way no i don't want to be underneath this this is going to be underneath it hang it up and down like this oh. i mean let's yeah let's brace it and then see if we can figure out a way to do that because that would make things easy they make things really and easy. it'd be kind of fun so I like easy and I like fun. All right, let's brace it. You are How'd you lock the fucking door? <laughs> I'll lock it. No, I mean like it's locked. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, next one goes here. So we need this panel out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just all of it, hell. There we go. Little wasp nest in there. You know what? Those wasps was probably from way overseas, like London or something. Those are London wasps. They they don't even buzz like regular Texas wasps. They go like instead of bzzz. Hey, it's on fire! Josh, it's on fire! Spit on it! Solid. What was that water bottle that you had earlier? <laughs> Well, you didn't want me to be standing by as safety marshal. I did not. So I could have shown you something. <laughs> Won't be axles, I don't think, because it doesn't even. Well, it does sort of come across like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a front solid axle. Just go across that and string it up by the forklift. And then that way we can just see straight lines and just cut it out. Drop it, but only up to about here. Let's see what we're working with here because we're going to want to keep that front suspension. Walk in my house. I believe it is, yes. All right. All you good. Keep going. Just going to scrape a little bit for a minute and just keep going. You're already past. <laughs> There we go. 
Just come in here and we want to trim save floor trim around the frame and let's save what we need up here obviously we're not going to need the gear shifter or anything like that and we can just drop this whole thing out is that a rubber u joint <laughs> like american rag joint for there bangs are good the plan to trust those up the wheel bearings or no we're putting all of that so all of this is coming out except to like where yeah no the whole the whole thing goes underneath we're just, we're just gonna use from it. here forward on the on the go-kart you know right in here and connect and we're gonna use the factory steering and factory front end but everything on the rear goes so we just need to start cut it's got 1960 license plates on i guarantee you there's no fumes in there okay you're worried about the gas tank on a car that's been sitting since the 60s all right so just get in there and do <laughs> I don't know All how right. to approach this. It's never as easy as you think it's going to be. <laughs> yeah! Get it off the bumper, get it off the bumper. We gotta protect that stuff. Bam! So if any of you guys that are restorers are out there and want a perfectly good, complete setup off of a vehicle that's probably been sitting since the 60s, uh, it looks original and uh, it probably works with some work, um, give me a call. Killer! I love it! Staying late building this for him, so Richard's actually getting me a beer. Hurry up with my beer, beer assistant. Hey, I'm not gonna yell it. Why are you whispering? <clears throat> the beer assistant. What? Nothing! I know that my generosity is not being made fun of no, for bringing you a cerveza. Not. Never, Richard. Go, sir. You shake this other way. Oh. I like how you pointed it at Brandon. He was staring really hard at it. Hmm. All right. Garage beer, the beer of Gas Monkey. All right, so uh, we had a fun night last night, and it was kind of uh, exciting for me to uh, actually play with some tools and watch some shit happen. Uh, but we, we're kind of taking our time on the floor because I want to leave as much of uh, the floor structure and superstructure as we can for strength. Uh, so we've got some cut out. Uh, we're going to cut out a little bit more. We're going to slide it in there lower it down see what happens and uh, then we'll take it back off and cut a little bit more you know that's one of the things that uh, a lot of guys that have come through the shop here don't really understand because you know there's been previous people that have worked for me that would have just cut the car in half and then tried to put it back together but we're going to try to do this the right way even though it is josh all right josh. it was like a compliment that led it into a backhanded compliment son of a bitch i was i was really happy for a minute i'm pretty sure this ain't got no gas on it go Alright then. I'm over here. Now you're officially part of the build, so you might as well just turn back around and let's go. And I'm done. <laughs> I wanna see you drive this thing in. Thanks, Mike. Here Mike. Come on. Did you measure anything? Yeah, a little bit. So I know the headers are gonna hit. Yeah. But I just kinda wanted to ain't as crooked as can be. Yeah. Sorry. So crooked. You know what's gonna hit? The gas tank. And the radiator? Yeah, well. I, you know what you're gonna have to do? Cut this out. Yeah, but besides that? Here, 
two more back. You're gonna have to take the bumper off. Bet we don't. Okay, now you don't. Not if you keep scooting it forward. Tell me if that's about close from the side, Mike. Like center line of wheels. It's hard to say, dude. I know, just not even. Go forward. Uh, right there. Right there. Okay, yeah, about right. where I cut, so. Right Go slow, Mike. Because that crossbar is above the steering wheel. Well, you can take the steering wheel off, actually. Well, I might be able to roll it back and then back in front. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's a, down. it's a removable steering wheel. I've never seen a non-removable steering wheel. What are we on? We're right at the headers. I don't think I want to go all the way up here if we don't have to. Stop. So whack this these. shit and this shit, get some of this shit out of our way, and let's kind of lower it down and take another look, because we might not have to go more than five or six inches on this wall. Yeah, let me clean this shit out. Well, okay, so we're gonna hit the tank. Where's my center space on my wheel wells? Oh, we can go way for it. Yeah. No, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there. Oh, See, back. that's what I mean. We can beat yeah. this wall. Come on down. No shit? Yeah. This is gonna be so awesome. Listen, it won't be as fun, but it's definitely gonna be as cool. <laughs> I mean, it looks dope. <laughs> it's like a little dragster. Look at it. Bad. Okay, so we're close on the stance, but I want to see a much bigger, meatier tire on the back. Obviously, we're going to need to get her out this way, but you know, shifter carts have all kinds of crap, mm -hmm. and we can do that. We're going to lose the seat, and we're going to lose everything front of the pedals. Yeah. And whatever. And we'll tie into the original frame there or we'll build our own. I want to use the front suspension, but we'll rebuild it all. But I want to run the factory bench seat. We'll recover it in plaid. And we'll probably go ahead and run straight up this right here where the back of the seat is going to be. Uh -huh. And we'll either run plexi or something just to keep the heat away. Yeah. I mean, this is freaking rad. I think that we need to find another set of rims like this, but run a little bit skinny. So I don't want it to have a gasser look, but I do want it to have a race look. This is freaking kick ass. Oh, I don't even need to. No, you... It has the look still. What? I love it. You know what? Sometimes my stupidity comes out completely clean. It's not really stupid, it's just weird. All right guys, uh, we're here after the weekend and we have decided to change our route on game plan of how we're gonna attack this with wheels and tires and everything. You didn't tell me that. Well, so me and Richard was drinking beers up by the cooler. Okay. And everything changed. It's just how it got started is how it changed. Okay, but I thought, is it, we're not, so we're not going in with it like this now. No, it's gonna go in still, but we're gonna do a different rear Why wheels. Why that shit always fucking happen? Because it's Richard. No, it's not. Oh. It's, it's you. It's, it's gotta you. look cooler than that though, Mike. I know, but I just thought we were doing, I thought we were just doing like a quickie, like throw it in there, take the front wheels off or something. Right. Like I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, so it's going in there. We're gonna bolt it in. Uh, we need to make some bracing and stuff to bolt it to that, but the rear wheels are way too small and they're way too far in. So, I went on the old interweb and found some like drag light looking big 15s and some slicks from Hoosier. So now we're doing wheels. Yeah, and tires. And we're gonna put Hoosier slicks on the front too to make it really look like a little dragster. <laughs> what about suspension? Are you doing suspension too? No, they don't have suspension in the rear. Oh, because y'all haven't drank that much. So a couple more beers maybe. Listen, stop bringing up ideas. I'll tell him. No, don't tell him. Okay. So. Um, but one cool thing, obviously this is never gonna be street legal. This is the old man cruise around, look cool, it swapped me, right? 
So we just yeah. want the lights to light up. That thing's got three extra fuses on the freaking distribution block. So we can get lights. We can make them turn on. Once we get those wired up, get it bolted in, we just need to figure out how to attach the throttle and, the mm -hmm, and then bring the brake forward. And that's it, dude. So now we're changing that too. Well, how the hell are you gonna use them when they're behind you, Mike? I don't know, I thought you had a game plan. I'm telling you the game plan. It you can't like use them when they're, what are you gonna drive it? You're Whoa. like, hey, I got a great idea. It's gonna be super easy. We're just gonna cut the bottom out of this thing. We're gonna set it on top of that. Yeah. Well, how what are you gonna ride it like a, look. You're gonna look like, what is it, rat paint when you're up at the top of it? <laughs> I've never ridden it. I've never even set on it. Bust it off? I mean, in there, I feel like this is okay. Is it not? That's not the goal. We want to still use the front steering of this and the seat of this, and that as a hole in the back. I just want to get it in there and get an eyeball of where we're going to brace it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, hey. I was just listening to you two guys talk about literally nothing. That goes in there, and then that gets hooked to steering, and that's about it. It's pretty simple. He said y'all were drinking and decided to do wheels and tires and stuff. Well, yeah, I just want a bigger, <laughs> bigger wheels in the back, and uh, we're going to use the front suspension and, and go at it like that. I mean, I don't know why it's so complicated. We've already had conversations. We've already cut the hole. I should be driving this thing this afternoon. A couple more beers, and you'll be driving it this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's noisy. It's a lot underneath you. <laughs> Push it and roll it, you know that. <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to exit the exhaust. Yeah, we're gonna have to exit the exhaust. Or is it just making you so embarrassed you're crying that you're doing oh, this? Okay. Exhaust. Yeah, that's pretty whew, that's strong in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna try to connect to here? These main braces. I hammered this one when we was cutting it out, but we can remake it. So those are main braces, okay. Come down to this guy or this guy? Mm -hmm. I mean the body it doesn't it doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, no, I get it. So there's um, no suspension. It doesn't it's not gonna have suspension in the rear. Unless oh, it doesn't no, weigh it. nothing in my hand. Yeah, um, too much. Okay, so you got what I'm saying? What about yeah, what about just building a, a brace through here? <laughs> oh, those are solid, dude. That's what was holding the car up when we was cutting this thing to pieces. The whole base was stuck in there, and it was just because of these two braces. I think it's because it's connected to the outer body and this inner structure. All right. So but we still got to get it lower. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's a lot lower than this when it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lot lower. Than that. Actually, we can lower it down. Pull the, well, pull that up. <laughs> pull what? The the extended foot off the lift. <laughs> I'll hold this, okay? Like it's constantly doing a wheel. <laughs> like it almost like gas. It had little wheels, but didn't have wheels. You wouldn't be able to see nothing. Hey, yes, you could. You can totally see it. That would be sick. Where it looks like it's just doing a wheelie all the fucking time. Hey, hurry up. Are you not listening to me? Yes. He only listens when it's his idea. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we getting? Say stop or nothing. Well, I didn't see anything. So, picture. A, so that's like a 20 inch rear tire. Imagine going to like a 26 inch overall diameter, okay. but on a 15 inch wheel. Get a 15? Oh, 15 wide. No, 15 inch rim. Wide or tall? Tall. Like the diameter. Oh, okay. Wheel. Yeah. Big tire that tucks and it's 12 inches instead of eight. We're gonna be out here. Yeah, it'll look where it like, looks like it fits. Yeah. And then, I have to use the stock front wheels. I haven't figured that one out yet. What? <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. 
Yeah. We're just gonna put skinny uh, little hoosers on here though. Little short skinny hoosers on the stock wheels. I mean, it's not like it's doing 60 miles an hour or nothing. No, uh, I'm pretty sure Brandon was at 20, 23, 24 was the top speed of that. I don't know how I would know that. It's weird that he has to answer like this. <laughs> That's what's weird. Okay, well. Get those in the braces, right? <laughs> what time is it though? I don't know. Lunchtime, I think. I was supposed to say it's, it's kind of yeah, four. It's, I mean it's lunch enough. Right? Getting close. I know he wants us to rush, but I mean we can't we can't work and do things correctly on an empty stomach. He's on the phone, we sneak out the back. Alright. Hey! Alright, so what you got? <laughs> The meats, Richard, the meats. So, what was on it? What we fitted. <laughs> I love it, dude. Me and Kenny had to do some adapting. Of adapters. And some spacing. Did you have to adapt some adapters? Yeah, and do some modifying. Yeah. But they're on, that's all that matters. That looks really <laughs> wicked. Now. Dude, under there, just that much from the back, this yeah. thing's gonna look <laughs> like it's got a super narrow rear end. <laughs> Let's go, man. I don't know why y'all aren't done yet. I mean, it's. The whole My thing's side. already built. All you had to do was stick it under it. My side's already done. All right, Kenny, it's your turn. Do your side. Do I have to? Josh already did it. No, he did his side. Mine's done. He can do that side too. No, you can do your side. He's coming. Oh. Oh, wow. Hi, Mike. I don't know you're still even here. No, I'm here. Yep. Are you losing electric when you let go of the key? It's gonna drop it like it's hot. <laughs> no, that's kind of it. I don't think we mess with anything till adjusting the suspension is last, last thing. Okay. Yeah, because we can roll it around and fit it and drive it and everything, and then adjusting the front suspension is absolutely dead last. Because we're gonna have, if there's two people in there, you know, that's roughly 400 pounds, mm -hmm. and Kenny's. Only 320 or so. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, right watch there, my there, there. Huh? Stand right there. Yeah, see, that's right. That's going to be right. Suspension 100% dead last. Okay. All right, I'm going to throw the cage clamps on and look at it. And then we got to decide how far or how, how far up I want my wing. <laughs> this. Oh, man. Got to get that down for us. You yeah. get that traction. Mm. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with traction. Stand back here and look underneath. <laughs> I think they need to come all the way down like that to the side. Okay. You think it looks, yeah. Okay. And they need to be straight like that, right? Okay. It doesn't, I mean, you can have a little angle on them. Well, not much, maybe mm -hmm. 11 30, 11 o'clock. Okay. We're a little crooked. A little bit. That thing has got a little bit of power. This is probably going to lift up and stuff. We want it to be strong. So we was talking about either doing away with these rails or staying attached to the outside of them. Boxing here, coming across the floor, following body line. But Ricky had a good point. 
to cage up and around in this area so we're just trying to look and design on it you know well we want it you know business in the back party in the front mm -hmm. so um we can get rid of a lot of this structure i I'm, i would keep this corner yeah and then get rid of that tray in the back that's going up and down but the flat i would keep so you're cool with us getting rid of this yeah 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 oh okay. and then because i want it to be sexy in here mm -hmm. make a door panel so the door opens and closes nice and it has that uh, we've got a lot of that sheet metal over there i don't know if your uh, skeleton is on the inside or the outside of the of the nice sheet metal framework that you put in here but we want it to look like an engine farm you know sexy not just thrown together i mean it could be going through like it could be exterior you know in a couple spots here but then dive into here and have a you know tube and behind the sheet metal wall i just want from here back to be race car -ish inspired on the inside here i mean yep. we got a 350 motor going in and i want it to be nice and paneled and clean mm -hmm. uh, but i want it to be strong and then from there forward is the ratty mess that it is on the outside okay all right so full sheet metal cage it follow all these body lines and you are cool with us getting rid of all this because i thought you wanted to keep this and we've been fighting no no, no 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 only structure so you can go to here to this wall and trim back okay. and then take all this out if you want and then make sexy roll cage going down sexy roll cage and uh <laughs> what have you but also as we're filling it up get rid of any trash that's in here okay we don't need crap rattling around or laying around for no reason cool all right cool i'll be back in 30 minutes better be done race car i like it finally we get to hear a race car you didn't hear the fact he said 30 minutes oh 30 minutes well <laughs> hopefully he loses track of time Almost ready to start ripping all this shit out. All of it. Rick, you better hurry up. So I'm gonna start smacking him with shit. I'm almost done. Let me get the radius to this one. Done waiting on you, Ricky. So we kind of went over and had a game plan going of how we want to brace this thing out and actually cage it to where it'll hold the hot fly and we are about to start on it. You know, we're going to weld in this front brace. It's actually going to hold it. Mike's already got it cleaned, got the new one cut. So time to weld this thing in here and finally get this thing rolling, dude. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, so we got our chassis built inside of our Izetta. It's kind of a framework, you know, this thing really was rotted and nasty. So we built like an exoskeleton around the Haas fly just to encase it and make it strong enough for when we're in there, it doesn't like rip itself out of there. Um, while we was doing that, kind of got carried away and went ahead and put the rear suspension on and got it all mounted in there. So sorry you missed that, but it's there. The suspension's gonna do a little bit, but it is hard mounted up front, so it's just gonna have a little bit of flex. But the front suspension actually is full functioning from the Izetta, so it should still ride pretty cool. This isn't fast. It's not like, you know, highway speeds. It's just bottom end in like a parking lot swap meet kind of car, you know? So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna do some wheelies, and uh, we're getting there, dude, so check it out. So we got it all kind of fitted in there and uh, we're gonna do one last test run now that we got the front wheels and the rear wheels mounted. Everything kind of looks like it's where it needs to be. Uh, we'll do a final test run on the original components that were steering and working the gas and the brake. And uh, if that all goes well and the suspension's doing what we want it to do, then it's time to whack all that stuff off of the Haas fly and connect it to the original steering box and brakes for the front end. So let's see what happens. Somebody? I mean, I ain't doing it. We'll do it. We have experience. I'm prepared this time. We have experience. We're gonna catch on fire.
Yeah! Put the headers on it. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I had so much fun. <laughs> okay, Everybody's gonna want to ride in the hoss fly. Maybe do it outside for us. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Great idea, Josh. It was partially mocked. He got well, super excited too. You said come over, let's ride the hoss fly. You agreed then, to it. I'm always gonna agree to it. I know, that's why I called you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, I was like, there ain't no head. Remember I said there's no headers and you said, that's okay. <laughs> Anything to direct flames an opposite direction. Away from me? Yes, it's you that I'm trying to save. Yeah, I know. So Josh is now modifying the headers so that we can uh, go for a drive, but still gonna fill the whole car up with exhaust fumes. I already have a headache in that two minutes. <laughs> I put my FR shirt on in case we catch on fire again. You have to test. Oh, fuck. You have to test. We're going this time. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going very good. How'd that break? I don't know. Yeah, we can just try them together. All three of them? Yep. No! We're not showing you how to steal a car, people. But if you were going to, this is how you'd do it. If you were going to steal an old car, this is how you'd do it. It's going to fall apart. Is it going to fall apart? So I probably should have went over an instructional video on how to make this thing go faster with Mike because he only pushed the throttle forward about a halfway and then just revved the piss out of it. So I can't hear anymore. I might be yelling because my ears are gone. Mike, you have to push the left one all the way down and then add acceleration. I understand how it works, but it felt really awkward up here. Like if we rolled over, I'm puffed. <laughs> Like I lose a, a, a head, a beautiful one at that. You had a helmet. No, I yeah, I have a shitty one. No, I didn't want to test it out. I don't know why I died though. Because the cylinder blew up in my hands. You got your, your NASCAR goggles on? Yeah, I prepared this time. They're not goggles. You gonna put a respirator on? Huh? Respirator. No. Okay. Let's just do it. Woo! Look at it go down when Big Boy gets in there. Oh, I didn't think you could hear me anymore. <laughs> components and the front brakes and stuff, it will be good to go. I don't know how I'm going to pass DOT though and get it in the license plate. 
success. I just can't breathe. Whew. Well, I told y'all to run the exhaust on the outside. We haven't got the, <laughs> that far yet. Well, it's as fast as you want to go in there. I can promise you that. As bouncy as these tires are and everything, it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love it. When y'all were driving, it looked like a dragster. It was bouncing and everything. It sounds it's... good. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. cool. Let's see if we can get a wheelie out of this. I'm throttling this time. <laughs> but we don't, we don't need to do this. You're, you're asking for an accident. And we didn't need to put the hoss fly in that Zeta either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This is gonna go wrong. No, you you kind of broke the motor. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. That's your puddle, guys. Already fucking shit up. Well, here's your gonna kill me. Yeah. Oh god, look at that. That's high quality fluids right there, boy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. Is it neutral? Uh, it no. broke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all. Oh, you hit Well, he was trying to pop a wheelie, so he was throttling it and then slamming it down in gear. And, and well, he busted the block on it, so. Show him this. Yeah, here's like. It looks more like the trans, it's the trans, the trans. I think the trans, it's the hydrostatic. Oh, well, how much is that? That's not it's even better. <laughs> it's behind. It's okay, so we broke the transmission, the... not the motor. Did you not listen to me? Yeah, I did. Did you not listen? I said, everything's fine. It's working. Why you got to take it out again? God damn it, man. I told him not to do we'll it. We'll fix it. <laughs> Fuck. Everything was absolutely fine and working. Is that the oil pan? No. No, it's the trans I just transmission. The little transmission. So you roasted the tranny. Well, something. Yeah, he blew a tranny. <laughs> Pop, lock, rock. <laughs> well, I'm fired today. You know what's the real funny part is, you fucking geniuses? What? You welded the damn thing in, too. It was super cool while it was going, too. <laughs> it almost popped a willy. It was because of Kenny. It was great with oh, me man. and Mike's weight, but we added Kenny. Yeah, mm, Kenny. That's what it was. <laughs> it wasn't the person controlling the throttle? <laughs> yeah, it was the person controlling the throttle. Hey, uh, let's get it inside. Let's get the oil cleaned up because this is where Daphne pulls in and she's going to, you know what I'm telling Daphne? Y'all are fucked. <laughs> Daphne! Fuck. Damn. Why do you have to go there? Shit happens. Let's go. Let's get it. It was so cool girl. until then though. <laughs> All right, guys, so we had a little mishap with the transmission. We're figuring that's, you know, that issue out. Uh, we're finding another one because it's destroyed. Um, we do have a lot of other stuff that we can get accomplished in this time period while we're waiting on the trans to get in. Um, what we're gonna do is work on the sheet metal on the interior to give it that grungy look. Uh, we're gonna disassemble the Haas fly to where it doesn't have all the steering and spindles and seat and all that and make it look like it is just an engine inside of the back of the IZ. So, no better time to get rolling on it than now. sure that's the biggest reason why that transmission blew up because more in red on those transmissions they build them per tire size and I think that we went up about four or five in diameter tire sizes mm -hmm. yeah so well I think I remember the guy saying on the phone that you know if you if you let off the clutch extremely fast it <laughs> will break the gears mm -hmm. no and that he's talking about with a, a small lawnmower application right mm -hmm. not a 350 Chevy? No. Well, Mike, he ain't right. Well, what happened? Just tell him he ain't right. He ain't right. See? He's not right, man. About what? Oh, he's what? saying that the, it wasn't the tires that broke it. It was me dumping the clutch that broke it. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> the tires? Huh? The tires. Yeah. yeah. With, I agree yeah. with both of y'all. Why don't you guys go call the tire manufacturer yeah. and tell them? If it wasn't the tires and him dumping the clutch, that thing wouldn't have broke. So the incident that happened outside that we won't speak of anymore is fixed. Kenny got the cases welded up, we got the gear in, and Ricky and Kenny stabbed the transmission this morning. It moves. We've got it back full of fluid. So now it's time to 
finish building the wall. And the pedals. Get the pedals working, which Ricky's already figured out one set of pedals. We just need a longer cable now. Kenny is finishing up the seat. We're doing interior in the house on this one. We're gonna see how it turns out. Oh, hi Kenny, sorry, I wasn't making any faces. Mm-hmm, what was that face? No. Nothing, it was good. So I can cut down our old headers, hollow out the flanges again, and uh, gonna start running headers and get Richard to make a decision on where we're bringing them out. I think we're coming out in this general area of the vents. So we got some designing and fitment to do and no better time to start on it than now. Oh, so let me get this straight. You two guys put it together and I'm the idiot that gets to test drive it. Yeah, why don't you shut the door? Yeah, we gotta start it back here still. Back here. We don't have a... Oh. What are we doing here? I just needed to see if it goes forward. He, has, he been, has he understand? No, how? we're gonna go over it. All right. The, we're gonna see how hard it is to explain this system. The, the, seat, yeah. doesn't, no, the seat doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> the it's seat good. is nice. Quality, cushion. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's like my okay. lawn chairs at home. So, oh, it's got a cup holder. RPM, remember the pedal? This is RPM. Yep. So you're on RPM. All right. This is your drive, your forward and uh, forward and reverse. But hit it now, okay? That's forward. All right. All right. Now let off. Now push it. Now you're in reverse. All right, we'll try this thing. All right. Fire All right. it up. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. All right, so here's what we need to do. Just start it. And just see if it'll see go. It moves. Yeah. Well, we already know one thing y'all did didn't work. Well. You revving it? I have to. It's not. You're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> do you just have a shoestring I can go yeah, like this? Pretty much. Wow, wow. You got on there. So. <laughs> no. Oh, is that what happened, Ricky? I think so. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, did it stick open? Hold up. No. no. Guys. If it sticks open, that's not good for me. It's just an RPM. <laughs> as long as you're not pushing the other thing, then you're okay, Mike. Yeah, but what if I'm like, oh my God, thinking it's breaking. Hey. It's like, yeah, try to throttle down. Oh, you're good now. Okay. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> so, the quick fix. Our, our extra safety feature didn't work. That's okay. Okay, here we Is go. it okay? Here we go, Mike. You ready? Yeah. Keep it running. Fucking ignition. Uh, hey man, you said don't do it. Now you said no, do you it. Oh, you that. We should probably put a tune on this thing, like a tune. Well, like adjust some shit. There we go. Let's try it again. Yeah, you were there. You guys hold to the floor. All right. You, you're looking at me like I'm doing something No, I was wrong. telling you, hold on. That starter looked like it was getting there sound like it's getting hot. Yeah. Blow your drum out? Yeah, a little bit. Does this thing got air conditioning? This is the dumbest car on the planet. I feel sorry for anybody that has these at home. I don't feel like this is very safe. Okay. I panic, uh, for a break. <laughs> it's not stopping. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Mike, you were doing a half a mile hey. an hour. I don't know why you got so scared. <laughs> the panic. <laughs> I knew that. 
I told you that left throttle, left foot throttle was a bad idea. It doesn't make it go faster, it just revs. Well, I understand that, but in your mind, when shit's going south, it's like brake. That's a brake. Hit the brake. Okay, so we switched that back over. You would have thought you were doing like a buck 20. But... Well, after what happened last time, I didn't want to be one responsible for it getting smashed into the wall. It's not stopping. It's like I literally walked over and got Well, good. I'm glad you did because I couldn't do shit. Good luck. It's a little too wild for my. Okay, so I think it's time to get this exhaust cut out the side because we want to test it. And every time we drive it, it smokes you out. So, where are you picturing? Right here but I don't know if I want to turn them like up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a flare, or just poking straight out. I probably want to turn them up a little bit. Just, just have them kind of just come out a little zoomy, a little but small, maybe even smaller than what we got here. Okay. So make your measurement and figure out where you want to go, but cut it right along this line, nice and clean, but leave okay. as many vents as you can. And of course, make sure the vents you leave on one side are the same on the other. Okay, yeah, match them. Yeah, <laughs> let's get that done. And then you said there was a clocking problem with the... Yeah, so when we went back in with the transmission, you adjust the chains on like a, it's kind of like a little cantilever system uh -huh. to pull them. And one's pushed a little bit further forward, so all we need to do is just get in there and all right. adjust the chains. The same. And then uh, how'd Kenny do on the seat? Look at that. It's in there. The seat's there. <laughs> it's uh, it's comfortable. <laughs> Kenny's mucho trabajo el cito. Listen. That's fine, man. <laughs> That's fine. He did better than what I thought he could. I didn't know that Kenny could do interior at all, so. Well, Kenny can't do interior. There's just, he made a seat though. <laughs> but that fits the car perfect. That's great. Man, I love it. Style. Other than headers, um, dude, I think we're ready to go. Well then get the headers done, cut these things nice and clean. But like I said, I want it to look like we did on purpose. We not a butcher job. Yeah. You know, Okay. and, and try to make them as even as possible and looking cool and uh -huh. uh, off we go, I got my wing. Freaking A, man. You know what, there's people out there on the webs that got size setas and went driving around in them. They ain't got no 350 motor. I can fit my whole hand in there. Very loose. You nasty. All right, guys, so the Izetta is done. Kenny really knocked out the headers. They look real cool. You got them out the side zoomies. This thing does blow a little bit of flame, so let's hope, fingers crossed, it does some big ones. But uh, it's time for the test drive before Richard gives it his seal of approval test drive. So I'm gonna snatch up Mike again and see if we can't break, break our curse of breaking the Izetta. But, uh, dude. Who would have thought about it? 350 in the back of an Izetta? Crazy. Is this like okay. an arm? Do, do I do an arm around thing? Why did it sound like that? It's probably just pouring fuel out. Is there anything leaking underneath it? No. Not yet, at least. That was a lot, yeah. That's way better. Yeah, it sounds better. Here we go. Nope, just kidding. Good job on the headers, Kenny. They sound good. Good job on the headers. They sound good. Good luck and good speed. Oh, shit.
you broke it again. If we were aerodynamic or not back here on my custom wing. Yeah, I think it's getting enough downforce. That's a lot of downforce. Yeah, I'll tell you what's getting some downforce the shocks in the front, you two fatties. What? We made it, but I don't know if it made it. Okay, so we got underneath there and me and Ricky found out that one of our linkage bolts might have been a little loose and also we had just a little bit too much curvature where we built our little bracket. So what we did was fill that up, lock in one of our linkage bolts and now we're getting, dude, I bet you everything but like this much I throw. So it should go quite a bit faster now. Those hydrostat transmissions, the further you push it, the more it like multiplies the pressure. So time to test it. Test drive. Nimro Doso something. Let's see if it's any faster. Let's do it. JK.
sounds like it says asshole every time you're okay. at. <laughs> I was in on this. I was okay. I was okay with all this, you know, <laughs> being that it only went 20 miles an hour. Okay, I was okay with that. But now you want to go reduce the gearing sprocket, the sprockets for more top speed, and they, we don't have functional brakes for that. No, it lets off and stops again. So we got a uh, transaxle sprocket that's driving a sprocket that is attached to the wheel hub. So we're going to do a smaller sprocket on the wheel hub. So the tire will turn more revelations. Revolutions? Revolution. Yeah, revolutions. <laughs> it's gonna be a revelation, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm out. Can I drive this thing or what? Uh, yeah, it's ready to go. Are you sure? Seems sturdy enough, let's go. Pretty sure I gotta put the oh shit handle into the yep. oh shit thing. Yep, yep, safety okay. first. All right, so. Put, yeah, uh-huh, push it, yeah. All right, uh -huh. so it's in there. Flip the switch up. Which switch? One down there. This on one? The fender. Yeah, yeah. Or this one? No, this one. Those There's are a, lights. That's it, you, yeah, that's you on. Now you gotta hold it, you gotta leave it up. No, don't push that, that's not a clutch. What this, is this? This is technical, okay? All right. This is a brake. That's the brake. This is RPM. That don't feel like no brake. It's not the best brake. Okay. This is the drive. So we're good? Yep. Okay. There we go. Sorry, did you do this? Yeah, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Oh, I got it. Yep. And when you want to stop, you just let off. And then it has like a hydraulic brake. So you'll push that one all the way down your left foot and then RPM up. That's it. Push the left one further. Does it not? There you go. Now rip. Oh, I'm good. I got it. Yeah. And then we want to stop, just let off a bump. Can you see good? No, there's no mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I look good though. <laughs> We're going. Not, not very fast, not very cool, but <laughs> freaking right. It's hot, dude. No, I think it's gonna blow up. <laughs> it's a little steamy. <laughs> well, it was nice until it wasn't. Uh -oh. It's leaking green alien juice. Green alien juice. I just have one question. Sir. How comfortable was that seat? It was nice. It was nice. It's like uh, one of the ones I got in Tijuana one time. It was a nice seat. It was good until we went off in that driveway. Uh, that was not my fault. You were jacking around and pulling with the steering wheel and trying to mess me up. Did he just blame that on me, Brandon? I did. <laughs> I actually love it. So, there you go. This is one hell of a machine. Whoa, that's hot. Did y'all connect all the metal or something? Why is it hot up here? 
<laughs> God dang. So I'm officially naming this thing the tater tot. Y'all like that? It, it kind of looks it, like it, a tater tot, kind of acts like a tater tot, kind of rides like I think a tater tot would ride like <laughs> if I was inside a tater tot. But uh, paint's coming up, so I want to take this, and I want to take the fucking uh, tank, and I want to take, uh, what's that other thing? The penguin. penguin? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go mess it up. Micro cars, here we come. I think they did that in the 80s. <laughs>